Okay, what is going on, everybody? Um, today, I have been a bad YouTuber. Um, yeah, so, oof. Okay, um, I'm just going to summarize the last around two weeks or so since the last time I filmed. And what we'll be doing today, obviously, but let's go over why I haven't filmed stuff and all that. So, uh, first off, like two weeks ago, I was going to film. Everything was normal. Nothing, nothing changed or anything. I just uh, didn't film one day. And then I kind of went on a streak of just not filming for a while, which is bad. And then school decided that I'm going to have six exams uh, in like five days, um, which is just, you know, great. So I was honestly really locked in on school and really, really, really stressed out from school, to be honest. So I really didn't want to film, um, was not in the mood to film like any day. And Spurden working on a few things like with coach and everything like that I just wanted to focus on, so I didn't film for the last few sessions. Um, we had the primaries. I think I missed both weeks' primaries now. So week two primaries went well. Um, definitely felt like shit during week two primaries, just like fatigue still and all that, but everything moved well, and there was not really any issue, except for squat, which was really my depth is questionable. Um, week two especially was really questionable because obviously I've been doing flats. So um, we started, you know, critiquing everything that I'm doing and the, f the depth is definitely questionable. It definitely could be better on week two. So um, we are trying to really work on it for week three and we kind of determined I might need heels no matter what. Sorry, this is week three. My primaries were two days ago, right? My primary squat was Friday, today's Monday. So on Friday, I was like, okay, I'm just going to hit depth. And, you know, that's the goal of today is hit depth and make everything move well. Um, was not hitting depth. Everything did move well for top set, at least not my fatigue single it moved terribly, but my top set of four moved really well as PR and it moved really well, but I didn't hit depth. So in my head, I'm like, that doesn't count. If I'm not hitting depth, I don't care how much weight I'm moving. I'm not hitting depth. It doesn't matter. And my coach like, you're kind of overreacting. And I was, and he just chilled. He calmed me down a little bit. But I was, like, freaking out for the last few days on my squat because I'm like, can't really hit depth right now. And I don't want to go back to heels. Um, and he was recommending that I probably go back to heels. So I've been shopping around for heels, and we're going to see if I need heels, if I can just hit depth by, like, what I'm going to do tomorrow, which will be, like, widening my stance and or widening or uh, tweaking my foot angle to be way more out. Because I have super long femurs, if you guys couldn't tell by looking at me. I have just, like, the longest legs ever. So it is very, very hard to hit depth. Um, and I have really bad mobility, which doesn't help either. So we've been working on that. But that's been stressing me out a little bit as well as much as school. So uh, the last few weeks have been a little shitty training-wise, to be honest. But we're going to walk in today. It's an off session. It's a week three close grip. With some back accessories, some chest accessories, and ladder raises, which I finally have, which I haven't had on video ever. Um, so that's good. I've been trying to go everything to pretty much failure, like actual failure, instead of like two hours in reserve, there's in reserve, just to try to grow a little bit more. Um, we'll see if I end up doing that today. I probably will because I don't have any big session, like anything's still Friday. So today and tomorrow are kind of like my biggest days before, like my biggest days in between having a primary. And tomorrow's SPD. So I can really, I can't really push accessories tomorrow because by the time I push accessories, I'm so dead that like me pushing them is like exhausting anyway. So I'll probably try to go to failure on most of the things I do today, if not everything. Um, we have close grip, I believe. Today might be a PR. Uh, I don't know. It is week three. So we're towards the end of the block at this point. We only have one more week after this week. So everything is pretty decently heavy now. Um, secondary sessions are still secondary sessions, so they're still obviously going to be lighter. But it's a little bit heavier than it was uh, in week one, which is really boring. That's the other reason I didn't film also. Week one and two are boring. It's lightweight. You know, it doesn't really matter. It's not really fun to watch. So now if things get a little bit heavier, it's a little more fun to watch. Um, yeah, I've been really busy, though, so I haven't had time to edit or anything. I do have, I think, another video film that I never posted, but I just didn't have time to edit. So I don't think I've posted in, like, over a week and a half. It's really bad. Um but I'll work on it, hopefully get back into the, the groove of uh, filming and everything. I also broke my tripod on Saturday, um, so hopefully I still can film with something today. 
because I stepped on my tripod when hyping myself up for deadlifts. I stepped on my tripod and crushed one of the legs really bad. Um, so if I film, I need to make sure everything is not totally lopsided. And, and uh, hopefully uh, my tripod is usable. I did buy a new one. It's coming today, but it didn't come before I left. So hopefully that will be all right. Um, yeah, that was kind of unfortunate. But my poles went really well. My poles have been consistently really good. Um, I think we're aiming for I think we're aiming for 185 kilos for a triple. I think that's what the goal is. I gotta check. Is that 175 or 185? I know it's at least three reds. I believe it's three reds collar, which might actually be 175, but I don't know. Um, I, I maybe it's more. I don't know. But point this pool's going really well. Bench honestly isn't going bad. My bench kind of felt like shit last session, but it honestly didn't look bad, and it was only two and a half kilos under my comp, um, and it moved at like a probably like a solid nine, maybe eight and a half. So I'm hoping to hit like a five kilo PR. I have a two and a half kilo written in the block, but we'll see how I feel on the day. Hopefully I can hit a five kilo PR. That would be the goal. And uh, yeah, we'll see. That'd be nice. Hit a nice little 250, five, 250. So it'd be, I think I'm planning on going for 253 on bench. So if I, if I go for the bigger jump, I think it'd be 258. Which I'll happily take. That's a pretty good bench, to be honest. Um, considering how long my arms are, I'll take that. And my dead should go really well. My squat's honestly been moving. I just got to start hitting depth. So hopefully I'm going to tighten everything up. But just got to lock in, um, focus on grinding, and we're going to get massive today. We're going to hopefully get a good pump and just lock in. I'll see you guys in the gym. All right, we'll be on. So we're just trying to focus on good touch and control. I'm sticking the same weight as I did last week for my top set as long as this as well. So see ya. Close grip is a uh, torture. I'm moving. I'm moving. Do that move to them. Figure it out. Alright, one by six. Come on. Five. Push, push, push. Good fucking go. Come on. Top two. Oh, no, I don't know what you did last week. There you go. Seven, eight and a half. Three sets of six. Get it. Two more, easy. Two more. Everything's really good right now. Oh, I'll probably be a little better. Thank you. 
This egg will kind of, I can see from stack at all, because it is close grip, so it shouldn't really be fully stacked. But I want to see it from stack to all. Go with it, last set. Make it move. I'll be giving no fuck. <laughs> At least eight parcels. Total failure. This will be a PR for eight. So. Let's go. We are nine, eight and a half. Okay, we're supposed to have around 12 here, so as long as I get like 10 to like 15, I picked a good weight. This is uh, more than I did last week, so let's go. Say I got the goal. Uh, fuck. One more. Alright. I'm going to do a drop set here. We're just going to go complete failure. Drop it. So it's complete failure again. I don't think I'm going to get the goal. You'll see though. Thank you. 
Got Rose now. Okay, we got two plates and a 35 on each side. And a single arm for eight on each side. Hopefully, eight. One more. Come on. Oh, All right. All right. Mm. Not on each side. Go three times. I'll be really happy. Pump covers off. I need. We need at least eight. Need each arm again. Pump. We got eight. Let's get in on the side. Are we good? Oh my god. Oh my god. One more set. Okay, I don't really know where to put my mic because I keep rubbing it against the thing. That's it. This is going to be hard. It's going to be really hard. Come on. I'll walk in. That's eight. Oh, that's a hard eight. Let's get it again. Come on.
Alright. I don't even know what we have next. I'm fried. Alright, this is gonna be a absolute demon of a set, but just still failure. Hopefully like twelve. We'll see. It's just heavy. Come on. Oh. I can match that. I'd be happy. Be nice just, just failure. Come on. Let's go. I said it. Push it. myself okay we have four sets of vital raises to failure Three more. I'm not even counting out for the I'm just going. Two more, two more, two more. My laterals. Oh, my shoulders are fried.
Vamos lá. Passa. Marshals, come on. Okay, yeah. I need a curls. I'm gonna do the ones last week, which are like seated. They're complicated. You'll see. Okay, this is the last thing we're doing. We have four sets of this, probably. So single arm seated curls, but really focus on keeping your elbow close to your body. I feel crazy. I don't know how many it was, but let's go till we fail. Three more. Three more. Just really cool. I don't know if you can see my arm here, but sorry. That's what you Walk in. Two more sets. Come on. Easy. Gotta lock in. No, oh, my hands in the box spot. All right, we're good. Jesus. 
Jesus. Ow, that hurts. That's it. Let's go. We're ending on this, so push it. match it. Let's go. Just go. Pose and get out of here. Not coming off of posing because we are we are not shredded, but hopefully we look massive. That's that's the goal. So. Pose in a long time. Let's go. Okay, so much needed a good session there. The last few sessions have been really bad. So really happy with the way everything moved. Um, close grip took the exact same that I did last week because I overshot last week by about a half an RPE. And I think this week was perfect at a six, maybe even easier, which is perfect because last week moved at six and a half. Um, I think it looked really good, honestly. My bench has gotten a lot better, even though my arms are just long, and they always will be long, and my range motion will always be a lot. But it definitely felt better. Close grip usually feels absolutely terrible. And I, I think we're finally at the point, which I kind of just realized, I think we're finally at the point that from after this block, anything less than six reps, no matter the variation, will probably not be less than 200 pounds ever again. Because today was 191. And that moves at like a six for six reps. So, and that's close grip. This is where I'm the weakest. So anything less than six reps on bench, I don't think I'll ever touch under 200 again. 
even like my deload weeks, which is really cool because that's a that's, that's a decent number. I'm not gonna lie, 200 is pretty good. So I'll happily take that. Um, so bench went well. Obviously, back went really well. Uh, pushed everything to failure pretty much today. The only thing I'd say I probably didn't push to failure was um, the second exercise, those rows, just because it's really hard. Like, that machine is just really weird, and I really don't like that machine, but I don't really like rows in general. I just don't I don't feel them. I don't know why. The only, like, I, I don't know. I don't feel wide grip rows at all, but they are good, and they do grow the back. So, that's not, like, I pushed it to failure. Like, that's the most weight I've ever done um, with good form, but, like, I don't know. I feel like, I, like the form just looks bad. It's whatever. It wasn't bad. It was a really good session. I'm really happy about it. I'm going to go munch some food now. I'm going to start studying for some exams I have this week. Um, and actually just chill out. Super Bowl was yesterday. My Chiefs won, so I'm happy about that. Won some money as well. Won a parlay. So, you know, can't complain. Can't complain. I am starving right now. Um, yeah, I'm just happy that I had a good session because it's been a while. Um, I also haven't posed. I don't think I've posed in like a month because I haven't been posing in our recent videos, in my recent videos, and I haven't posted in a while. Um, so I haven't posed in a really long time. So I'm surprised my posing actually looked good. I think my side tricep, I probably made the thumbnail of this video, um, but that was definitely the best my side, my side triceps ever looked. And I didn't even hit triceps today besides close your bench and incline. So really happy with that, actually. I think um, I'm definitely growing. I think it does show, like, I, I obviously I'm getting fatter as well. Obviously, like, I'm not as lean as I once was, which sucks for me. And I probably won't be as lean as I want to be for a really long time because I just have to perma bulk until I'm at least 100 kg. And then once I'm 100 kg, which is 220 pounds, I can then start to maybe just maintain there for a little bit and cut and bulk and just maintain for a little. But that uh, that's another 40 pounds from here. So, still got a lot of work to do, a lot of eating to do, a lot of filling out to do. And, uh, yeah, you know, it's just a long grind. Powerlifting is a, it's a long run. It's nothing happens short. Right? Everything you do is kind of just a long run, which is cool because you got to put in the work and it eventually shows up, which is really, really satisfying um, and really cool to see. So, everything moved well. Um, I'd like to film my squats and my bench next week so that I can have my two primaries for this block. Uh, especially my week four, which is supposed to be good, but we will see tomorrow. I'm going to be experimenting with the wider grip. Um, no, sorry, the wider feet on squat, as well as my toes pointed out on squat. So I was messing around with it a little bit today, obviously without a bar, but like just on my feet. And I think it feels better. I think I'm definitely gonna be able to hit depth. I don't know if I'll be stronger. I might be a lot weaker, but I should definitely be able to hit depth. So that's the main goal right now. Um, and we're just gonna, we're just gonna work on it. You know, everything takes work. You can, you can make everything better the more you do it. So practice literally does make perfect. So it's got to practice, practice, practice. We've got to fill out my frame. We've got to make my posterior chain absolutely massive so that we can deadlift as much as possible because I am built for deadlifts and I need to deadlift as much as possible. So, yeah, sorry, I'm ranting, but finally filming again. Uh, hopefully I can film another video this week. I hopefully won't forget. I'm definitely not going to film tomorrow because tomorrow is really long. But, yeah, we're going to lock in, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.